Hello everyone, this is Sugesh here. So now in this video, we'll be discussing in the separate section of our large intestine anatomy. Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing on the cecum specifically. Uh, it's anatomy and the previous video, I made one video on the large intestine topic in which I have told the basic external structures and basic topography and the parts of the large intestine. And uh, in the successive videos, we'll be discussing in detail different parts of the large intestine. As in this video, with the cecum and the next video will be on the vermiform appendix next colon and then rectum okay so we'll be discussing in detail anatomy internal structures and relations also topography also everything so let's start with the cecum first of all so as you know this is actually the proximal part of our large intestine or the beginning of the uh, of our large intestine uh, as it has a connection with the ileum that is small intestine and there is one junction which is called as ileocecal uh, junction from where your large intestine begins and that is the part called as proximal part Okay, so just uh, below the uh, ileocecal junction, there is a blind dilated sac and that part is actually called as cecum. So cecum me meaning is actually called as blind sac. Okay, so it is actually a blind dilated, blind dilated sac below the ileocecal junction, below ileo, ileocecal junction, clear? So this is the first line for this uh, cecum and if we go for the exact position of this cecum it actually lies in the right side of the iliac fossa so it is present in the right iliac fossa where your ileum bone is present so there is one fossa there for the iliacus muscle so in that fossa it is actually lying okay and it is also present just above the lateral lateral uh, half part of inguinal ligament half part of inguinal ligament clear so it is just present uh, above the lateral side of the inguinal ligament and just the half part so just consider this is uh, your inguinal ligament like this so this is the lateral side okay so this part above this there will be your cecum like this will be present so there is a topography for this above the lateral half of the part of the inguinal ligament clear this much is clear now what are the connections with cecum so cecum has a connections with your small intestine first of all okay uh, small in, uh, intestine clear and uh, what is the connection that is simple ileo cecal junction okay so it is actually as a connection with a terminal part of the ileum with the cecum so it has a main connection and one connection is with ascending colon so above the cecum we have the ascending colon the colon begins actually clear and the next connection is on the posterior medial side with the vermiform appendix okay so we have a connection with Vermi form appendix also clear so vermi form appendix on the posterior medial side okay on the posterior and little bit medial side clear so now this is actually the diagrams of different shapes as you know that cecum has different shapes from the embryological periods as the development progresses it actually forms its uh, actual shape which uh, a human body has but during the development it has different shapes okay clear so now if we go for the shape so cecum uh, cecum is actually if we go for the commonly we can say it is actually a pendulous pendulous sac uh, sac shape pendulous sac shape clear and if we go for this all three it has actually four types of shape four types of shape four types of shape it is having actually so from the embryological period, there is a cecal bud present uh, in the embryological period. From there, uh, the cecum actually arises from the primary intestinal loops. Okay, in the primary intestinal loop, uh, there is a cecal bud from where your cecum actually arises. Cecum and vermiform appendix both. Clear? So from that area, from the embryological period, the cecum actually arises. Now it has actually four shapes. Uh, if we go, uh, if we talk about the first shape, we are having, and that is called as conical shape name it is clear it will be of conical shape and is also called as fetal fetal type so what happens in this is that uh, diagram you can see this is actually your first diagram and its name is actually your fetal type fetal type clear so it is actually having the appendix at the uh, apex uh, that is your vermiform appendix in the apex region it is actually your vermiform appendix clear and this is your conical shape of your cecum so this is actually your cecum but of different shape 
clear here the main point you have to remember is that in this type of shape first uh, the vermiform appendix is present in the apex apex this will be your base this side will be your base and this will be apex clear so it is actually around 2% of uh, people you can see this type of uh, shape of the cecum clear main point was this second was your second is your quadrate or infantile infantile type so what happens in this that uh, this uh, it has actually now it has actually now two saccules here of equal size this will be your right side so this is right cecal right cecal saccule and this will be your left cecal saccule clear so this is also not the type common type which we see in the humans it is also around 3% you can see and uh, uh, same vermiform appendix is at the apex so this is actually your vermiform appendix this is clear and this is your base but here you can see saccules and because of that it forms a shape of quadrate okay now because uh, it's in the divided into equal halves so it will be forming a shape of quadrate that is why it's also called as quadrate and this is conical now third we have to see which is called as normal type which the mostly people are having in the human body okay and it is around 80 to 82 percent clear and in this what happens is that the right side of secule will be larger than the left side so main point here you have to remember the normal type right secule is larger than left side so in this diagram you can see this is your right side so right one is larger and this area small is your left clear so right secule and left secule and one more important point is that two centimeter below your this is actually your ileum here ileum terminal part of your ileum this is ileum and this is your uh, the actually ileocecal junction and below two centimeter this distance is actually your two centimeter and below two centimeter you have vermiform appendix here on the posterior medial side this is actually your posterior somewhat posterior it will be there and this is actually a medial side and this is lateral side so it is on the posterior medial side so for normal type we have to remember below two centimeter terminal part of ileum and on the posterior medial side okay below two centimeter of ileum terminal part of ileum or ileocecal junction anything you can say and on the posterior medial side posterior medial side these are the two import three important type uh, important lines right is larger than left main second below two centimeter of ileum and on the posterior medial side you can see vermiform appendix actually clear and the fourth type which is called as exaggerated uh, type of uh, cecum and spelling is exaggerated clear and you this you can see uh, this you see in the around four to five percent of people clear and what happens in this that uh, in this left secule is actually absent so here the main catch is left secule is absent and right is larger right is larger very larger and 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 with respect to your vermiform appendix it is just below the ileum you can see there is no such two centimeter of distance here so this is actually your ileum and this is vermiform appendix clear and posterior it is on the posterior medial side but it is not at the distance uh, below the two centimeter of distance so it is just below so main difference or main catch point is just below your ileum terminal part of ileum or ileocecal junction clear so these are the four types of uh, cecum shapes of the cecum from the development okay main is you have to remember is normal type in which the right secule is larger than the left secule and the vermiform appendix is present two centimeter below the ileocecal junction this is actually your ileocecal junction ileocecal junction clear so these are the four types of your uh, cecum clear so the basic for cecum and now we'll moving on to the visceral relations of the cecum visceral relation meaning the anterior and posterior side what organs will be present here okay so first of all anteriorly it will be clear from your basics anatomy okay i am writing the anterior relations here so for the anterior relations what will be present anteriorly on your cecum so first you can see the coils of your small intestine simple small intestine coils of small intestine you can see 
greater momentum will be present greater momentum the peritoneum part the peritoneum derivative okay and greater momentum and the you, you can also see the anterior wall anterior abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall uh, on which side on the right side right lateral side you can say or right iliac iliac side iliac side clear so these are the three parts will the major parts you will see on the anterior relation okay so i have not made the diagram just remember this three parts okay for the posterior it is important to remember so i have made the diagram for the posterior relation this is actually your posterior relation what you will see on posterior clear so simple i will just mark it here you can see this is l1 l2 lumbar vertebras and you know that this is actually your right sos major major muscle clear and this is your ilium bone so this will be this muscle will be your this fibers will be of your iliacus muscle clear and this is a division of your common iliac artery into external uh, right external and uh, left external iliac artery so this is actually your right external iliac artery okay and these are the nerves which will be coming from the plexus okay so this is actually your lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh of thigh and this is actually your femoral nerve and this is your right side of your genital femoral nerve right side of genito femoral nerve okay so these yellow uh, yellow ones are actually your nerves and this uh, brown ones are muscles and one of our vessel is this this red one are red one is actually your right gonadal vessels right gonadal vessels gonadal means for your ovarian artery or testicular artery with respect to male or female okay so these are the five uh, seven structures this is actually black one you can see this outline is actually your cecum okay so we are showing the posterior relation what are the present on the posterior sides so first is right gonadal vessel iliacus muscle right sos major muscle lateral cutaneous nerve uh, right side of genito femoral nerve femoral nerve will be present and the right external iliac artery division from the common iliac artery clear this much i think this much is clear 